this one hair hack changed the game for me like it really made my hair grow so much longer so much faster and it is something that is so so easy that I'm going to show you exactly how to do it so that you can grow your natural hair longer thicker and faster as well and if you're wondering what my natural hair looks like this is what it looks like Hey love, it's Angelica aka Angie B. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. If you don't know me, my name is Angelica. I post videos twice a week, every week on Wednesdays and Sundays all about growing healthy natural hair. I occasionally post some extra videos on Fridays which are just fun videos like reaction videos, um, talking about movies, series, whatever. So if that seems like something that's interesting to you, consider subscribing. The subscription button is right down there as well as the bell icon. Make sure you hit the bell so you get notifications every single time I post. Without further ado, let's get straight into the video. Okay, so are you ready? We are getting straight into this hair hack. It is a head wrap combined with a protective style. Not just a head wrap, I've done videos on head wraps just like when your hair is out and stuff and that works as well and if you want to see that video I will link it at the end of this video, I've done a bunch of videos wearing head wraps before but this one is specifically when you have a protective style you combine with a head when you have a protective style and then you combine it with a head wrap it just makes like a I don't know what I can say, an amazing combination. So the protective styles I suggest you do this method with are cornrows, large braids, not like braids with additional hair or like box braids. I mean, you could, but I wouldn't recommend it. Um, just like large braids with your own hair, like you don't just want to stay in the house, you're not going anywhere. Or when you do those big braids, like they're for a braid out or big twists, the kind you do for a twist out, those are the protective styles I'm talking about. So if you do, if you do those and combine them with a head wrap, you'll start to see growth so fast. So the second thing you need to realize is this is something that has to be done properly and I'm going to show you exactly how to do it in a couple minutes because if you do this wrong, it can actually lead to damage. It can lead to you having broken damaged hair, especially on your hairline because if your head wraps are really tight, it can be snagging on your edges. It can be damaging the hair in this area. Maybe you do this because you want to lay your edges every single day and then you, you lay your edges every single day and then... Next thing, your edges are suffering and stuff and then you're like, this hairstyle does not do anything. So I'm going to show you the correct way to do it. So if you're wondering, some of the main benefits of doing this are, number one, moisture. Your hair stays moisturized for so long because your hair is in the head wrap all day. Whatever moisture you put in it before you go in the head wrap, it's not evaporating into the air and stuff. It's just kind of covered, kind of like the greenhouse method. And your hair stays moisturized for much longer. Your hair is protected from the sun and the elements like wind and dust and pollen and all those things that can irritate your hair. Your hair is completely shielded from all that. And then your hair also stays softer, moisturized and hydrated for much longer. It also reduces breakage because if your hair is covered like this for let's say a whole week or two, when you wash your hair, you will need much less shampoo because your hair is going to be cleaner because there's no like dust and dirt and stuff going on it. The only thing that's going to be in your hair is like a buildup of sweat and possibly whatever product to use on your hair, but there won't be like additional dirt and dust from the outside. So you use less shampoo, saving a little bit of coin too. Your hair is going to be cleaner much faster and thus it'll feel so much softer because you don't have to overstrip it. Okay, so we're gonna get straight to the demo. As you can see, my braids are looking pretty crusty and dusty okay so getting straight into the demo you can see my edges are actually laid today this is the first time i have actually done my edges in like i don't even know months i just thought let's do it today let's be extra I, I don't care about how much gel i put because i will be washing my hair tomorrow in my braids so this is what the braids are looking like and usually when they get to this stage this is when i don't wear them out anymore and then i start to do my whole head wrap process so now i'm going to show you how i do it my hair is just tied in the back you can see my hair is it's getting there it's growing pretty fast so what I do is I get my spray bottle I use my continuous spray bottle especially when my hair is in braids I just feel like it is it distributes the water very nice and easily so that some of my braids are not soaked on one part and then like dry on the other side but if I don't have access to one of these bottles of course I'll just use like a regular spray bottle they are cheaper than these ones but I just love these so I really just do a light mist because 
you guys have seen how I moisturize my hair before. If you haven't seen it, I will link the video on how I moisturize my hair in braids. This is not necessarily a moisturizing routine. This is more like just a little boost to the moisturizing process because I like my hair to stay moisturized in my head wraps and not get any additional dryness. So that's enough water and then I go ahead and get my oil. If you guys know, oil is not a moisturizer. It can only seal in the moisture. So right now the moisture is just the plain water. And this is what this oil is going to seal in. Also, if you'd like to see how I make my oil mix for hair growth, I love this oil mix. I already have a video on it as well. I will also link that in the description box below. So as you can see, that was very easy. Really don't have to do much. And then I usually tie my hair. Recently I was sent these silk scrunchies from Makeup Revolution. Um, but you can find silk scrunchies. I'm pretty sure there's like a pack that has like 15 or like 25 or something on Amazon. And it costs like... Um, less than 10 bucks i think that's a really good pack to get and these just help your hair like not get dry in any places or absorb unnecessary moisture so it just keeps the hair nice and moisturized and it prevents from breaking so i just tie it like this um sometimes honestly i'll just use one of these regular hair ties if i don't have a satin one or a silk one because i only started using them recently don't want to lie to you guys okay so once that is done i go ahead and put on a silk or satin bonnet and the reason is I don't want the head wrap to suck all the moisture out of my hair but I will show you a hack for what I do so that my head wrap can lay the way I want it to when my hair is not out like in a puff because I just manipulate my hair around to make the shape that I want so I will put on my satin bonnet like this now you guys know I like to like I do like the flat one sometimes but I usually like some height to my head wrap so what I do is I will get a different scarf. You guys know this scarf. I use it a lot to do my head wraps, but I will be using a different one today. So what I'll do is just kind of fold this up and roll it into like a nice ball, which is like about the same size of like my natural hair when it's out. So just roughly, you really don't have to do any like folding or whatever but you don't want to make it tight don't wrap it into like a tight ball because then it's just going to be like hard and it's not going to be like squishy and move like how your hair would be so just something like that just like in a ball kind of and then i tuck it inside my bonnet where i will want it to be like that so you can see very odd shape so I do it like that and I kind of put it a little bit close to my forehead because when I start wrapping it's going to move back so for today this is the scarf that I'm using it's a very like silk satiny kind of fabric but it's only like this on the outside on this side it's just a matte like plainish cottony fabric which would definitely absorb the moisture from my hair which is why I'm putting this first so that it doesn't lead to any breakage so I just go ahead and cover this like so and I pull it up so it makes little nice pleats. I will tie it loosely in the front here. Like so. Okay, so you tie it tight enough that it doesn't come off, but not too tight that it gives you a headache. Okay, so once you do that, you can either leave it plain or you can kind of twist it around. This just gets tucked in here it's definitely harder to work with fabric like this and this one sorry my camera keeps going in and out of focus and this one also gets tucked here And then once it's done, you can start like moving it around to make the shape that you want. So like if you want it to not be so high or to be higher, bigger, fluffier, just, you know, 
move it around then once it's like how I want I go ahead and push it back a little bit so it's not right on my forehead and if you've done your edges this is where you can lay them down but like I said I rarely lay my edges I just brush them up and then we're done I just did this for you guys today and it literally looks like you've just got like your hair tucked underneath here but it's all an illusion let's get to the rest of the video as you saw that is how I do my head wraps they come out a little bit different every single time because I don't know head wraps are just like that but if you saw this is the first time I've laid my edges and I don't know how long so what I would usually do is I would just brush my hair like the way my hair usually looks in my videos I would go ahead and do that and I would just put my hair in the head wrap and this is one of the number one ways I keep my braids in for so long because usually once your braids start to look untidy you're like mm, let me take them out let me wash them now if this is past like the five six weeks marks and you know that your hair will start getting tangled and possibly have breakage or build up issues you should absolutely take your braids out but for me once i hit like the end of week two week three every single time i go out instead of taking my braids out and then washing my hair and rebraiding and all that i just do this head wrap thing and it can prolong my protective style for a long time even if i just do those like large braids or loose twists just purely as a protective style not like to make my hair look good or anything just like if i'm in the house and i put my hair in big twists and i want to go out instead of wearing my hair in a big twist out or doing anything like that i would just prefer to put on a head wrap my hair is manipulated less and i see so much faster hair growth a lot of people ask me like what exactly do you use is there a specific product that you use to make your hair grow much faster and all that and i'm like no i actually don't i just try to do as little as possible to my hair all the time so now let's just address the little giveaway situation so i said once i hit 50,000 subscribers thank you so much for making me hit 50,000 subscribers i would be doing a big giveaway and i am still going to do a big giveaway it's just that miss rona is not calming down i personally ordered products from amazon and they literally took over two months to get to me so i don't want to do a giveaway and then i send out the products and then they're like oh your product is stuck in whatever because the borders are closed or anything like that so i'm just waiting for the situation here to sort of calm down so that i'm free to ship to anyone so that i'm not like okay you can only you can only enter the giveaway if you're in this country. I want the giveaway to be open to everyone so that I can send the prize to anyone, wherever you are in the world when you enter the competition. So just make sure that you're subscribed and you have your post notifications turned on, aka the bell, so that whenever I post a new video and that happens to be the one where I'm doing the giveaway, you'll be able to see it and you can enter. Also, another thing is my extra videos on Fridays, I'd like some input from you guys. Let me know what you'd like me to do for the extra videos. So I love doing like these trivia games of like TV shows that I watch and I'm going to start a series called, actually I'm not decided on the name yet, but it's going to be where we talk about like some TV shows, me and a friend of mine, and we'll be talking about our favorite TV shows and doing like trivia where we ask each other questions about the shows and see if they can get it right. And the good thing is you guys can participate in the comments. You guys can be commenting and answering the questions too. I think that would be fun for an extra video in the week just to add a little bit of fun to this channel. So comment down below maybe some shows or movies you'd like me to do some trivia on or reactions to because you guys know I love TV, I love movies, I love series, and I watch a lot of them. Just to put this one out there, I've never watched a single episode. Well, I think maybe I've watched one episode. Let me just say, I've never watched Game of Thrones. So if you suggest Game of Thrones trivia, like I have no idea about anything. I just know there's Night, night Walkers? Skywalkers? What are they called? See, I don't even whatever i know there's a stark there's the stark family and there's an aria and all that kind of stuff but i have no idea what's going on i just have an idea mother of dragons blah 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 so maybe one day i'll watch it i don't know but comment in the comment section below what you'd like me to react to or do some trivia on i think it would be very fun for all of us to do together just to add a little bit of lightness to this dark time in the world right now so if you enjoyed this video and you want more like this make sure you hit my face right there to subscribe if you didn't subscribe in the beginning or earlier hit my face right here to watch my other channel which is all about growing your channel youtube tips and all that and watch my two videos on the side of the screen right here for another head wrap video and just something that you might like i'll see you guys in my next one